So I got the last couple of rows of flooring all done. I uh, did about eight rows last night, finished the last four tonight. Um, ended up having to move the uh, fridge. This is where it's actually going to be going. Uh, fridge is going there. Stove will be kind of going in that spot, not exactly. And this is our Wheel of Fortune model. <laughs> <clears throat> But I just opened up, uh, cracked open one of the boxes for the uh, kitchen cabinets. So these are the cabinets right here. So this is the door style that we ended up going with. It's uh, called Shaker. Um, they're, it's a pure white color. <clears throat> so this will be the face of it. This is a three drawer, 30 inch base cabinet. So I'll be putting these together over the next couple days. This is kind of what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. Ooh, that looks good. I like that. So this will be a bit the uh, face, kind of what it's going to look like. So the, this is a 30 inch three drawer base cabinet. I believe that one will be going right next to the fridge here. There's also a dishwasher there. But, uh, so that's kind of the door style that we went with. Uh, I ended up buying the kitchen through a company called Kitchen Liquidators. Um, I didn't even know that I was gonna have to assemble all these uh, cabinets myself. But we ended up paying, uh, I think, seven, just over 7000 for all the cabinets. Um, so it would have cost me another six or 700 um, plus extra delivery charges since they would have been uh, Done, but you all walked. put together. So it wouldn't end up costing me about another $1,000 for them to put them together. So Is it better that they're not together? It is and it isn't i mean if they would have put them together then kind of all the responsibility would have been upon them mm -hmm. so if anything came here damaged you know we'd be able to have them cover it but you know i'm also saving a thousand dollars by uh, installing these putting them all together myself i've never done a kitchen like this we've done an ikea one but um i've never uh you know through my job with my dad but uh so it's going to be a whole new kind of a learning experience for me. The first one, first two might even go pretty slow, <laughs> but after I get the first couple going, then you know I'll, I'll know what's going on for there, and they'll uh, start to pick up a lot faster. So tomorrow night I'm going to start putting these cabinets together. Hopefully I can get uh, I don't know maybe one or two of them together. We're also going to be going and looking at a couch. Uh, we're going to be going to a store called Leon's. There's a nice leather sectional couch that uh, we're going to be going to look at, and uh, hopefully we can purchase it for the sale ends. You know, if, as long as we like it, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it looks pretty nice. But so maybe we'll take you guys on our adventure there, looking mm -hmm. at a couch with tomorrow the, with the children. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. But hopefully I can put a good dent in these uh, cabinets on uh, Saturday. I don't know if I'll get them all uh, put together by Sunday, but hopefully. I don't think he's going to Christmas shop for me. Christmas <sighs> uh, is on Monday. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm going to have to go shop. I haven't even gone shopping for any. Like, she's done all the shopping. She's done all the gift wrapping. I don't even know who we got for what. <laughs> but, is what it is. That's uh, what oh, happens. A busy man. Yeah, that's what happens when you work till like nine o'clock every night. So if you want to make money, you gotta be. Uh, you gotta stay busy. You gotta keep everything going. There's no uh, days off, so we don't have any real money yet. But eventually, one day we will. We'll have a lot nicer house. We're hoping to build a brand new house after this. So as long as we can make uh, somewhere between 50 and 80 grand, that's kind of uh, kind of our hopes. And that would be really just paying me for all the work that I've been doing, which would kind of equal out to like, I don't know, 50, 60 dollars an hour. So as long as everything goes good, that's my plan, because I don't want to, 
you know, I want to be my own boss. I don't want to have to work for anybody. Even when you own your own company and you're doing work for someone else, you're still working for them. So mm -hmm. you're chasing the check and, you know, you, not everybody always gets paid. I've learned that a little bit from my dad running his business and I've been working with him uh, practically my whole life. Uh, as long as I've been doing construction, I haven't really worked for anybody else. So <laughs> well, I know yeah, a little bit on that. And yeah, but only small parts. Uh -huh. So and it's mostly been through my dad and just, yeah. So over the next uh, couple of years, this is all we're gonna be doing is flipping houses. So we're hoping that we can uh, build brand new, obviously next, that's where we're gonna be making our uh, most amount of money. So hopefully that's in the cards that uh, we're being dealt. So I just wanted to say that I didn't really record anything today. Well, I didn't really. I didn't record anything today because I didn't do anything. I took Mia to the doctors again because Eric thought she had an ear infection because of how she was acting last night. So I took her to the doctor and they said she didn't have an ear infection, which is good. So that's what I really, that's all I did. I um, came home from work and we just did that update on the house. Eric and I kind of talked about it. I think we're gonna do Vlogmas until New Year's Eve. <laughs> um, but we may take a day break in between it. So, um, the 27th of December may, may be a break day, like after Christmas, so after Boxing Day, the 26th. After the 26th, there may be a break day or two. Not sure the days, um, if you follow me on Twitter. I'll tweet if we are not gonna have a video for that day. But yeah, didn't do much today, and now I'm gonna get ready to go to bed. So have a good night. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas and make sure you thumbs up and subscribe, share, tell everyone to come over to our channel. We have lots of love and that's that. Have a good night. Bye.